for me, it was it was brilliant getting to open open the bowling with with a great mate and you know one of the best bowlers that's ever played the game. song here at his very best. Facing uh, Glenn McGrath and Jason Gillespie was very, very tricky. Um, two similar but different in, in their own unique way. Glenn McGrath, definitely one of the best bowlers I've seen. Uh, you know, he wasn't a swing bowler, but he knew the weakness of a batsman in a matter of split second. His line was immaculate, his length was uh, a consistent, and that's why he got 500, 600 test wickets, because he was one of the best of all time in my book. I always find Jason Gillespie sort of did me on pace. Um, I was trying to hit the ball and it had almost travelled the extra yard fuller. When Jason first started, he was he was as quick as anyone going around, you know, he was well over 90 miles an hour. He was probably more of an out and out wicket taker than McGrath. McGrath was a container, bold line and length, built pressure on batsmen, waited for batsmen to make a mistake, whereas Gillespie could run in, do that, but also had the ability to, to bowl some balls that just got great players out. Yeah. Oh, I say, it's wonderful fast bowling. That really is. That's the real McCoy from Jason Gillespie. It was perfect for me to have someone like Glenn at the other end. You, you knew the opposition batsman look at the opening bowling combination and go, well, oh, gee, we might, we might have a piece of this Gillespie bloke. And uh, so that, I felt that gave me opportunities to take wickets. That partnership through the years um, you probably made my job a little bit easier as, as captain. The hard thing sometimes is actually telling them that they weren't going to bowl the next over and you had to take them off. And thankfully there was generally someone like Warren um, waiting in the wings to come on behind as well. Oh, flint off gun two! This is brilliant. Five for McGrath. True brilliance from Glenn McGrath. If you had any weakness in your technique, those two were going to exploit it. At the time when they were playing in that great team that they had, they were very, very tricky. It made it very, very tough for opening batsmen. There was one spell in Hobart against New Zealand, which not many people will sort of re recall, but just the ruthlessness. Just the, you know, I think I might have had a crack at Stephen Fleming, the New Zealand captain, for not being more attacking and get the game moving forward. And he just turned around and started laughing. So, mate, you come and have a go. When you're playing against guys of that calibre um, who know how to just stack the pressure on um, over after over after over, um, you just have no room for any holes in your technique, and that's what champion bowlers do. He's gone straight through his defences. Back on target, Jason Gillespie. Probably just beat it for pace. Full length, and that's the end of Craig White. Yeah, we, we just became mates as, as fast bowls, uh, you know, tend to stick together a little bit and still keep in touch. And, you know, he's a, he's, a, he's a great friend. I think those two certainly should be remembered as one of Australia's great opening bowling combinations. Mm -hmm.